1 Corinthians chapter 15. Verse 12. The Bible says, Now Christ be preached that He rose from the dead. How say some among you that there is no resurrection of the dead? Here, look up. If the Bible says there's unicorns, who do you think you are to say that there's not? If the Bible says there's such a thing as a Leviathan and that he's got fire breathing out his nose and he's got scales that are stuck together and you can't do anything about it and he just goes ahead and does whatever he wants, who are you to say that there's not? And if God calls him a behemoth and describes a thing that you've never seen before but kind of like a brontosaurus, who are you to say it's an elephant? And if God says there's such a thing as a cockatrice, who are you to say it's just some other snake? And if God says that one rose from the dead, who are you to say he didn't? Don't you understand? If you brought into question one, you brought into question all. I want you to see what Paul says. Now, if Christ be preached that He rose from the dead, how say some among you that there is no resurrection from the dead? But if there be no resurrection of the dead, then Christ is not risen. And if Christ be not risen, then our preaching is vain and your faith is also in vain. Yea, we are found false witnesses of God because we have testified of God that He raised up Christ whom He raised not up. If so be that the dead rise not. If there be no unicorns, then David is in vain and his psalms are in vain. And David has found a false witness and he's lied because David said there was a unicorn. And if David is in vain in Psalm chapter 22 and verse 21, then how do we know that he's not in vain when he said, My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? And then they pierced me. If there be no unicorns, there was no piercing. Maybe if there's no Leviathan, there's no devil. If there's no great crooked serpent that dwells in the midst of the sea, then maybe there's not that old serpent, the devil, who goeth about as a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. Maybe the personification of, of, of Satan is not real. Maybe he is only a figment of our imagination. Maybe God is just trying to teach us that good things, bad things happen to good people, and we just need a little scapegoat. After all, if Leviathan doesn't exist and many of his attributes are the things that we would attribute to Satan, maybe Satan doesn't exist. And if Satan doesn't exist, maybe God doesn't exist. If there be no unicorns and there be no cockatrice, there be no Leviathan or satyrs, there is no resurrection of the dead. Why? Because the Bible says all Scripture is given by inspiration of God and you have shown God to be a liar. Yea, we are found false witnesses of God because we have testified that God raised him up, raised up Christ. A man stands up in his pulpit and he says, I believe that this is the Word of God. I believe that this is the Bible. This is the Word of God. And he reads in the book of Job and he says, elephant. And he says, and he says big fish. And he says, uh, alligator. What he said is, he doesn't believe his book. He lied. He has been shown to be a false witness. He is a double-minded man. He's unstable in all his ways. And eventually, push come to shove, he'll deny that Jesus Christ rose from the dead. They've just given enough manuscript evidence. Whom he hath raised not up, so be that the dead rise not. For if the dead rise not, then is not Christ raised. And if Christ be not raised, your faith is vain, and you are yet in your sins. Then they also which are fallen asleep in Christ are perished. If in this life only we have hope in Christ, we are of all men most miserable. But now is Christ risen from the dead and become the first fruits of them that slept. For since by man came death, by man came also the resurrection of the dead. For as an Adam all die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. But if there be no unicorns, there be no Adam. If there be no Leviathan, there be no sin. If there be no sin, there be no need for a resurrection. And there be no Jesus Christ. And you are then, of all men, most miserable. If in this life only we have hope in Christ. But now is Christ risen from the dead. For since by man, listen, for as in Adam all die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. But every man of his own order, Christ the firstfruits, afterward they that are Christ that is coming. Then 
come at the end, when He shall have delivered up the kingdom to God, even the Father, when He shall have put down all rule and all authority and power, for He must reign till He has put all enemies under His feet. And the last enemy that shall be destroyed is death. For He hath put all things under His feet. But when He saith all things are put under Him, it is manifest that He is... that, that that he is accepted, which did put all things under him. And when all things shall be subjected unto him, then shall the Son also himself be subject to him that put all things under him, that God may be all in all. Acts chapter 17. Acts chapter 17. And in verse 20, Paul was preaching at Athens, and of course they said to him very simply, Thou bringest certain strange things to our ears. We would therefore we would therefore know what these things mean. Has the Bible brought certain strange things to your ears? Has the Bible said things that don't make sense to you? Have the infidels been able to permeate your steadfast faith in the Lord Jesus Christ by merely saying that these things are strange things? Acts chapter 26 and verse 23, the Bible says, having therefore, verse 22, having therefore obtained help of God, I continue this day, witnessing both to small and great, saying none other things than those which the prophets and Moses did say should come, that Christ should suffer, and that He should that He should be the first that should rise from the dead, and should show light unto the people and unto the Gentiles. And as He thus spake for Himself, Festus said with a loud voice, Paul, there's no such things as unicorns. Paul, there's no such things. There's no fish to swallow no man. Paul, there's just no such thing. There's no Jesus that rose from the dead. By much learning hath made thee mad. And why do they call you mad? Because you believe this book. Why do they call you mad? Because you're willing to stand toe-to-toe with a guy with an IQ of 240 and you're barely able to figure out which side of the bread to put the peanut butter on. Because you believe this book. Amen? Because you believe this book. By much learning hath made thee mad. You've wasted your time studying that old book. You've wasted your time believing in that old book. There ain't no such things. As devils. There ain't no such thing as God. There's no such things as unicorns. You said, yes, there are. They said, show them to me. I can't show them to you. But I believe and am persuaded that He is able to keep that which I've committed unto Him against that day. I am a new creature in Christ Jesus. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. And His Spirit bears witness with my spirit that I am a child of God. And you can take that to the bank. It says so in that book and I believe it. Most people won't believe it. They will believe it. In that day, when the blood is neck deep, in the satyr's dance, when the cockatrice won't bite a child, but the unicorns come, they'll believe the Bible says, herein lies the patience of the saints. Finally, Luke chapter 5. The Bible says, They were sore amazed, and they glorified God, and were filled with fear, saying, We have seen strange things today. Do you suppose one day you'll see strange things? And you're going to see creatures walk the earth that you couldn't imagine. You'll see a beast named Apollyon. You'll see giant creatures rise out of a pit with stingers and sting people for five months. I mean, there's there's strange things in the world. And just because you haven't seen them yet doesn't mean you won't see them. And I want to tell you one final thing. Just because you've never physically seen Jesus doesn't mean you won't. And all those people who rejected Jesus Christ, the Bible says... Every eye shall see Him. And they which pierced Him. 
I believe the Bible. You can believe what you want. Dear Heavenly Father, I want to thank you for your grace and the time that you've given us together. Lord, you're so good to us. Father, you've taught us. You've taught us very strange and wonderful things today. You give us faith to believe those things that the world say are foolish. In fact, the Bible says that the things of God are foolishness unto the world. But Lord, one day they will know. And one day, Lord, we will know even as we are known. Father, watch over us, Father. We're going to have prayer meeting. We're going to take a little bit of a break. In Jesus' precious name, Amen.